Hey, this is Dave Allred. Got a little uh, treat for you. This is actually a, uh, a bicycle flashlight, which of course you could use for lots of different uh, um, applications, but uh, night provision. And uh, anyway, it's it's a pretty intense little torch here. But uh, it's just to, to give you a little tour here. Um, it's got a, several different settings. It's got a, first off, it's got a high output battery, rechargeable battery that you can slide into the back here. This just unscrews. It says it is waterproofed. It's got a little O-ring in there that uh, kind of waterproofs the battery compartment. Looks like everything else is pretty sealed shut. Um, this is, of course, the charge port here. It just comes with a little USB, mini USB cord. Um, and, of course, the, uh, the on button is pretty easy to use. You, uh, you hold it down, turns on, and you, if you uh, just kind of briefly hold it for uh, you know, a, a split second, it changes between different brightnesses, uh, brightness, brightnesses, <laughs> different brightness levels. Um, and then if you double click it, it does this uh, pretty wicked little flashing thing. But I'm gonna take this thing outside. Um, oh, one other thing, it does, it does say that um, this turns different colors here. So if it turns, you know, there's two different colors, three different colors. When it's green, it's full charged. Um, when it turns a, a different color, then it's got, oh, I think um, 20 to 50 percent left. And then when it turns red, I believe, then that's when it starts going into what's called a power save mode. So it's actually kind of a smart flashlight. And then it'll go to one of the lower brightness settings just to save battery. So that's kind of cool. Um, this little thing on the bottom, if you pull this lever down, it just kind of slides into this uh, um, this little mount here. But if you pull this down, you can easily uh, dismount um, the flashlight from that, and just you can even just keep it in your pocket and use it as a flashlight instead of mounting it to a bike or something. You know, I take this this out uh, this outside. I'm gonna shine it on some trees here at night and give you an idea of exactly how bright it is. All right, so here we are, and you can kind of get an idea. You probably can't see absolutely anything besides the lights across the street. So I'm going to shine it up here into this tree. And that tree is probably, you know, the trunk is probably a good 20 yards, 25 yards away from me. So um, it's pretty stinking bright. I mean, uh, it does give you a little uh, warning saying don't shine it into your eyes to keep from damaging your pupils, corneas or whatever. But, uh, you know, pretty good. So let me change the, the brightness setting here. That's the next one down, and the next one down. So it's pretty significant. I mean, this one right here is is a pretty average flashlight, you know, um, not any anything LED. Uh, this one is definitely high output. I mean, that's intense. So uh, this is a, a bona fide spotlight. I mean, seriously, I've got this high power spotlight in my car that I use to check out wildlife and. This thing is uh, pretty intense. So obviously the flashing. Anyway, you get an idea. Very easy to use. Very cool flashlight. Uh, I really like it. I mean, it's just, as far as the construction of it, I mean, it's just solid. Uh, it does say that it can take like a, oh, what did it say, one and a half meter drop was uh, kind of what they recommend as far as dropping it, but I think it could withstand more than that. Um, solid uh, alloy and, uh, you know, the only rubber parts, plastic parts are the buttons here and, and of course the glass up front, but, and the mount is pretty much plastic as well. But anyway, I like it. No complaints whatsoever. Great product.